In some cases, just the name of the candy is intimidating, like jawbreakers. Take a look at these things. I mean, the size alone is enough to scare you. Well, it's time to take a chance and bite into this very tough topic. They go by names like the Bruiser and can be a little daunting. Candy so big and tough, it's been dubbed a jawbreaker. I guess the urban myth would be is they really don't break your jaw unless you chomp down on them. Jawbreakers are one of the most daring of the I Dare You candies. For most of us, it's a bet to even get to the center. We have seen someone eat one of these in as little as a day, which is quite a feat. But on average, we say it takes somebody about five days to eat one. Try wrapping your lips around this sucker. This is about uh, seven inches in diameter and about 10 pounds. Everyone has their own special strategy when it comes to eating one of these massive marbles. We've heard of kids that break them with a hammer and eat them little pieces at a time. And then we've heard about kids that, you know, lick designs into them, holes through the middle of them. So it's really a product that lends itself to a great amount of imagination. Some jawbreakers are double trouble. You know you're in for it when you dare to eat a candy called Screamers. When you put it in your mouth, you get a real intense, great cinnamon flavor that just is very, very hot. And then we go into a cool layer and your mouth kind of takes an ah. And then before you know it, it sneaks up on you again and you've got another hot layer. We, we have about, about seven layers of hot and cold as you go through it. Some jawbreakers go to another extreme. Extremely sour, that is. And some of them that are sour all the way through that color your tongue. Kids have been whittling away at jawbreakers for a long time. And over the years, the giant gobstopper has undergone quite a transformation. Once it began with just a single grain of sugar, built up into a big ball. And then our giant two and a quarter inch bruiser jawbreaker took about 12 days to make. These days, the time consuming process has been cut down by adding a candy center. The center is formed first out of dextrose. The powder pours into a little round mold and under high pressure forms into a solid candy. The whole thing happens so fast, if you blink, you'll miss it. Buckets fill with pretty pastels that will soon turn into rock solid jawbreakers. But first, they need to try on a few coats. 30,000 centers toss in a machine that looks like a cement mixer. These are actually candy coating gizmos called panners. Sugar syrup is poured in, creating a colorful shell. The process is repeated countless times, building up a multi-layered jawbreaker. I mean, when you look at one and it's cut like this, you see green and yellow layers, uh, but each one of those layers are multiple layers on top of that to get a wide band. So, you know, a band of yellow may be seven or eight or ten applications of yellow to get that wide band. So there are actually thousands and thousands of layers on a, one of our giant jawbreakers, even one of our small jawbreakers. Candy makers use stencils to make sure the jawbreakers are just the right size. Once they're ready to crack the biggest mouth, bins are filled with a thousand pounds of bone-breaking candy. Bright colors disguise the rigid shell. The new process takes about half as long as the old, but it still borders on epic. It takes us about six days to make one of these now. After days of dizziness, the completed candies take a wild roll through sorting and wrapping. Half a million jawbreakers are made in this plant every day. That should keep the daredevils just a little busy.